people up into the sort of the periphery of space. Uh, what do we know? Right. The whole idea here is to uh, let an uh, average regular old uh, citizen of Earth to find their way and feel that weightlessness at the edge of space. And what would happen here with Space 2 uh, is you go up to the edge of space, the pilots would uh, actually remove themselves uh, from the rocket as it's on its way up, and then those six passengers who are inside are supposed to be able to get that weightless feeling for a few minutes because the engines would be off, they could take those pictures, do whatever they want, say that they're in space, and then they would get back into their seats and then uh, glide, basically, back to Earth. That is the idea behind uh, this rocket uh, to allow people to do that. But this is not something that has been used yet, from what we understand. This was a, a test run, it looked like, uh, was happening here today, going on out in the desert, out here in California. Uh, but the idea was to be able to really just allow anyone who wanted to and who could afford to uh, go mm -hmm. feel what it was like to be in that weightlessness of space to allow them to do that uh, with these two pilots on this one, which is a a bigger version, I think, than the one that they had before. Uh, so that's what the idea here is behind this. Still trying to get clarity on exactly what happened. Still trying to get clarity on the pilots. We're now getting visuals in that are coming in from one of our affiliates here in Los Angeles, KABC, where you can now see that they're seeing some sort of activity out here in the Mojave Desert of what has happened. Uh, we are hearing that there was a crash. Still waiting to confirm that as well. And uh, trying to find out what is what has happened with the pilots on board unconfirmed reports at this point that one pilot may have perished but we're still trying to confirm that brooke let me jump in stephanie elam thank you stay with me as we look at these live pictures over the mojave desert and you can see some of the area cordoned off with what looked like um, police tape miles o'brien i'm hearing we have you uh can you hear me sir Yes, I can, Brooke. What a devastating week for commercial yes. space this has been. And this news is just uh, a complete um, blow to the gut. Uh, this was an important test for Virgin Galactic uh, after nine months of uh, downtime as they worked to come up with a new engine for the space uh, ship 2. Uh, they had, uh, as you may recall, the, the roots of this program go back to 2004 and the Ansari X Prize, uh, at which time Spaceship One, a much smaller craft developed by Bert Rutan and a company called Scaled Composites, won that X Prize, uh, proving that they could fly to space in a, a short period of time. And when we say space, we're talking about 62 miles as the kind of ar the arbitrary line between space and being uh, on the planet. Uh, out of that, uh, Sir Richard Branson uh, of the Virgin brand uh, decided to create the Virgin Galactic uh, space line idea. And Spaceship Two is, is a larger version, much larger version of the Spaceship One test craft that was that successful X Prize competition. Uh, two pilots and then. We're losing you. Miles O'Brien, we just lost you. So what he was saying, and that was interesting, so two pilots, he was talking about two pilots that would have been flying on the spaceship too, and that's when we lost him. We're working to get him again. But again, you're looking at live pictures. If you're just joining us, this is what we know. It's not a lot. We're working on getting more information. But on the right side of your screen, these are live pictures over this vast Mojave desert. And what we have is this. Um, the